Greetings WordPressers, Jackson here, how are you? Welcome to the channel, nice to have you. As always, now, you know that I'm a little bit of a WordPress fan, a little bit of a WordPress fanboy even, and I spend quite a lot of time banging on about how great WordPress is. Anyways, that said, I am always willing to hold its feet to the fire when something needs looking at and something comes up a little bit short. I mean, well, to be fair, yesterday's video was exactly the same kind of thing, but this is slightly different because this is not about blocks. This is not about block theming. This is not about the direction of WordPress and the shortcomings of the block editor and all that sort of stuff. This has been, this issue has been around for years. Like literally, as long as I've been making 15 years, 16 years, what I've been doing WordPress. So WordPress, a blogging platform, Form, right uh, and in blogging platforms I mean that's what it originally was you know you have comments I mean clearly and as as the biggest blogging platform of all time you would expect comments to be absolutely rock solid and yeah they are I mean you know you can put in your comment and you can submit it and someone can approve it or if you're a member it gets approved all that kind of good stuff totally fine but have you noticed that if you <laughs> Well, you probably have if you've been around WordPress for any length of time. Have you noticed that when you click the submit button, this happens? Okay, enough said for the time being, but come on, 20, 20 years, more than 20 years now, WordPress has been blogging the universe. It's been the biggest blogging platform. I mean, what are we doing? Come on, come on. Anyway, it's time to fix that. Oh, don't get me wrong. There's loads of other commenting systems. And you know that I always believe WordPress is a platform that can be built on and all that sort of jazz. Anyway, you can get plugins that completely transform, take over the comment system. In fact, I saw, heard a great um, podcast from on Nathan um, from uh, WP Builds the other day where he was talking about integrating with Blue Sky, which sounds pretty groovy, uh, developer. And I'll drop that link in the description. I'm talking about default comments, the thing that you get out of the box that if a regular WordPress user had to deal with, they'd have to deal with it. Anyways, we're going to fix that. In we're going to fix it once and for all with a little bit of JS, a little bit of code. Roll your sleeves up. It's going to take four minutes. Let's sort out the default WordPress comments. OK, then here we've got a WordPress install 2025 theme, a few pages added, blog added. A few posts added. Let's go and take a look at one of those babies. And scrolling down, scrolling down, there's our comments. Let's forget to fill anything out and post the comment and we get the, oh, it is just horrific. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. 2025, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we're still faced with. Now, you see, the thing, the worst thing about this is, um, which I may have mentioned in the intro, was that with a regular HTML form, and this is, I mean, this is literally, you know, super duper simple. Look, just a form, form, form. It's, up, it's fundamentally no different from the uh, WordPress comment form. If you forget to fill something in, the browser behavior, the default HTML browser behavior is it tells you. I mean, just that, just that will be fine for us. But um, the reason it doesn't do that is because hard coded into WordPress is... On the form is this, see this no validate equals attribute. If we delete that, look what happens now. So come on, there's got to be, there's got to be a movement to get it done. Now I'm sure, because what's happening is it goes off to this PHP script, which does the validate, so it validates server side, which means that it may be doing a ton more stuff that I don't know about. But if you can't, you know, it, you can't change the field here. Yes, you can get common plugins you know that have got tons more features in it and all that sort of stuff but if it was if it just you know if something's required and just on that submit anyway stop complaining let's fix it let's get to the back end and you will see here that i have indeed got 2025 running now we're going to need somewhere to put our code and i've actually got my little site plugin installed here just a very simple plugin that allows you to add css and js and php functionality to any site very useful sometimes a little bit easier than building out a whole child theme if you're just looking to do a bit of extra functionality anyway links in the description if you want to download that it's freebies it's freebies freebies i've got the pages as mentioned and there's our post that's literally it the rest is 2024 2025 
Right, so what we need to get to our site plugin. Here we go. Here's our site plugin. Uh, I've got this open in the code editor and it just literally loads the CSS, loads the JS. There's the files. It's got a couple of other functions there for demonstration purposes. And if you want to add any, any PHP functionality, that's where you throw it in as well. And you've got the custom CSS. That's where you put your custom CSS, custom JS. That's where you put your custom JS. Let's go get some custom JS from our other tab here. So enhancing the default WordPress comment form validation. Yeah, it does need enhancing, doesn't it? A case of copying that in. Let's select all oh, copy and get it into our JS. And I'll just, just quickly run through this with you. So basically sets a variable up there that's that then is used within this if statement to make sure it only runs when you're on a single post and the form is on the post, the default WordPress comments form. And if it isn't, then the if statement will fail and nothing happens. Well, I've got the debugging console log going on here. So because it's super simple, it's just saying after it's set up these variables and then it just is looping through the fields and checking that they are filled in or not. And if they're not, then it stops the form from submitting. Super easy. Plus, I threw in a little bonus ball of like checking that the email address is actually an email address rather than just some gob gobbledygook. But anyway, super simple. And we'll just save that up and get back to our form. Let's give that a hard refresh. And let's forget to comment. There we go. Look at this. Please fill in this form. It's so beautiful. Hello. My name is happy and my email is happy at forgot to put the last bit in post comment. Please enter a valid email address. So there you go. I mean, it really is. And let's just finish that off. So happy. Happy at test.com and submit. Obviously, website is optional anyway, so that doesn't matter. And we're done. It's really, honestly, it's killer. Why, oh why, is that not in core? Link, as always, is in the description to download all that code for free. And if you fancy a little bit more WordPress action, here's another little one for you. But until next time, I shall see you later.